Hey guys, we're going to use the acrylic pour technique over plastic eggs to make these gorgeous, shabby chic Easter eggs. Stay tuned. <music> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do some acrylic poured Easter eggs today, and then I'll show you how I decorate them after it's dry. So first we're gonna use these Easter eggs. They're just plastic Easter eggs that I got from Walmart. And my stand is floral foam under a rack and a Dollar Tree tin <laughs> with some dowels stuck in it. I used this when I did my, um, that's probably loud, sorry guys. I used this when I did my um, Christmas ornament video for my cousin's wedding. And it's, I just kept it. It's actually a great little setup for doing stuff like this. So we're going to open up these eggs. And there's a little plastic that keeps them together. We're just going to cut that. Because to make this easy, we're going to do the eggs like this. So open up as many eggs as you want to pour on. We're going to do, I think, the whole package. Because I want to see the different textures that we get. What's neat about this is you can always mix and match when you're done. You can put a different bottom on a different top. And make different color schemes even after you've poured. But I thought this would be cute for Easter. I haven't done an acrylic pour in a long time and I love doing these. So we're gonna do one. Okay. I already have some paint pre mixed. I'm gonna use some red and some pink. Don't mind, that was just, there was black in here before, it's clean. It's just I threw pink paint in there. Same with this one. <laughs> Purple, some white, and then I ran out of containers. So I'm using gold, and I'm gonna use green. It's not gonna take a lot on these. And I use these little shot glasses that you can get from Dollar Tree to pour my paint in to get the different colors. So I probably should have had these opened before I started. I wasn't prepared, I'm so sorry. Okay, they're open. So you're gonna take a little shot glass. If you wanna know how to mix this, I use Elmer's glue, acrylic paint, and water. So I'll start with about that much paint, add about that much glue, and then the water, I just add a little bit at a time until it's the consistency when you pull. Let me show you in this one, be easier to show you. When you, you want it like a creamy and you want it just to flow right off of the stir stick. If you want to learn how to mix, I got addicted this, to this by watching Mix Media Girl. She's amazing. So you can check out her channel. So I'm just going to keep layering. I started with some white. Going to add some purple. Some gold. Like I said, you're not going to need a lot of paint for these little bitty eggs. I'm going to do a little test run here. Some pink and let's do a little bit more white. I'm not even filling up half of that shot glass. I'm about there, just under half of that shot glass. So let's try, let's see how much, let's do it on a bigger, the top part of the egg first. The top is a lot bigger than the bottom. So let's just see how much paint we need first. So I'm just gonna do a little swirl. And the gold is taking over on this one. 
I chose pink eggs um, because, you know, Easter, of course. But I wasn't quite sure how the paint was going to adhere to them. And I didn't mind if like that pink was coming through a little bit since it is Easter. So that turned out pretty good. It's going to keep flowing. Like I've said before, you can use your finger in spots that maybe isn't flowing. Oh, we got a whole side of this that we missed. Let's see if I can get that flowing. So we're gonna just let it do its magic, okay? And that was a pretty good amount in that cup. So I'm actually just gonna use the same cup and just add some more colors to it. Let's try the green this time. Put a little green. Oop, that's a lot of green. We'll try the red. I don't really want it looking like Christmas, so maybe that wasn't a good idea. I'm actually going to try to fill the cup up this time and see how many I can get done with one cup of paint. So I guess I'm just going to do all of the colors. See what happens. This is what's fun about this is you never know what you're going to get. If you get something you don't like, you can just pour right over it. So there, now I'm going to try it with a lot of paint in here. And we'll do the bottoms. I'll get a good flow going around the edges and then do a little swirly. And I'll do the same thing with this bottom. Get a good flow. Because it didn't on my on the last one I did, didn't go all the way around. So let's try to eliminate that problem. Yeah, that one's going to look like a Christmas egg. What you can also do is, since that one has a lot of green, just use the excess on another one. Try to get it out of your cup, or I have lots of these little shot glasses. I can just, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I can't get the paint to stop dripping. I'll just use a different shot glass. So again, we'll do white, purple, gold, pink, and add a little bit more white. And we'll do one of the tops. I was worried that these were going to do that, but for the most part, they're kind of staying on here. I didn't really know a great way to keep these. So I had this already done up from when I did my other video. So I just thought I would keep it. And I'm just going around the outside edges to start get paint flowing all around. And then you can do swirl, you can go back and forth, whatever you want. Every time you do it, it's gonna be different. For gold this time, gold. Let's do a gold and white one. So we'll just keep going back and forth on the white and then gold and then white. Another thing you can do is when your paint is in the cup, take a stir stick and just go around. Don't don't mix it, but just kind of go around and get a little design going in your cup. Okay, so let's try over here. Make sure it's flowing. I like that. Let's do one. I was afraid of that happening. This little guy does not want to stay on his little 
stand now does he I like that gold and white so let's do the another one just to have maybe those match and they could go together and then we'll do this little guy And just I like to swirl in the middle I love the effect it gives or you can even go around and swirl but I love that little effect that you get for some reason my paints do not want to come out let's add the rest of this to this guy these are turning out so cute I love that one I'll give you a close-up I have a fly in my room. That one actually is really neat with the green. I didn't think I liked the green, but let's try another one. Another one. Outside edge, get it flowing. I keep saying that, but you gotta do it. And I'm gonna do bigger swirls on this one. Let's carry over to the little guy here. You can set your station up any way you want to hold these eggs. Um, like I said, I just had this. Let's get this one. I didn't put enough paint on that one so it's not flowing as much. That's okay, we'll come back to it. You get 24 of these little shot glasses at Dollar Tree. So they're basically a one-time use for me. Um, it's pretty good bang for your buck, 24 of them for a dollar. So I don't really mind throwing them away. After I'm done, must to clean. So I just, I think they sell them all year round. No, I'm not sure. Let's add a little pink. Okay, so what do we got? We need this one done. We need some more paint on this one. And we need more paint on this one, which I keep running out when I get to this guy. And I just put them all in. The white and the gold one's really cool. So we're going to kind of go around the ones that don't look like they're filling in. Add a little paint where it's not running. There we go. Kind of just check them, go around, and you can see. If there's any areas that the plastic is showing, you can just keep going around. Get it flowing again. Sometimes it changes the whole, the whole look. That's okay. Because these are going to keep running. So what you see right now isn't necessarily what it's going to be. That's the first part of this video. I'm going to let these dry overnight and then come back and show you how I decorate. So since these eggs were separated when we poured the paint on them, it did get into some of the creases. And you can just use an X-Acto blade and cut around where the crease is and you can peel the paint away. That way they will easily snap back together. The paint peels real easy and it doesn't really damage the rest as long as you cut it. And then you can just take the tops and bottoms and choose what colors you want together or if you decided to make them match and do the same on the top and bottom that will work too i opted to only match one of the eggs and the rest of the eggs i put together with the different colors i created you can see that two of these eggs it actually did peel away from the plastic but that's okay because we're going to be adding embellishments with ribbon and flowers and it will hide any flaws where the paint peeled away from the plastic egg. That is the egg I decided to keep the same top and bottom and it's super cute and I just think that this is something that's up to you. You can do it any way you want. 
So I grabbed some ribbon and some floral. I think most of this I got from the Dollar Tree. If not, some of it I did get from Walmart. So using the ribbon, I am going to hide. I'm going to start with the two eggs that got a little bit ruined. And I'm just going to put lace around it to hide the parts that peeled away. This is totally up to you how you decorate your eggs from this point. I thought the lace and the flowers made these sh like shabby chic and just absolutely gorgeous adding these accessories to the eggs. Thank you. 
here's an up close view of them. I think each egg is unique and different and simply gorgeous. <laughs> but you can just create, you can use your imagination and use what you have to just embellish these eggs and make them your own, your own style. I think the poured um, paint on them really gave it some depth and dimension and just different. Each egg turned out so different and that's the fun with acrylic pouring because you never know what you're gonna get so i hope you enjoyed this video i had so much fun making these eggs i'm gonna make some more um they were just so much fun to do i love acrylic pouring and i love doing it on different items to see how it will turn out i hope you enjoyed this video too if you did please consider subscribing to my channel hit that thumbs up so i know i'm doing it right and i hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day don't forget oh in a week next saturday i'm going to make that chop challenge playlist live so get your videos ready and have them ready to be added to the playlist next saturday march 21st so i'll see you again soon bye y'all